Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Dayglo Buffalo and this is Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution, the director's cut. When we last left off, we had met this guy, Quinn, who helped us out mainly by buying a bunch of stuff that we had picked up along the way. And now we are off to examining, well, examining, searching, exploring the administrative offices. Now, we had already checked out the vent over there, so this time, let's follow the marker. Not that it makes any difference, really. So let's get into sneak mode. A gas canister. Apparently there's something we can do with gas canisters. Certainly with our super lefty arms we can throw them at people. There's a camera there. Well, oh, nothing here. This leads back to the loading bay with the big gun. That is fortunate. Fortunately, looking in the wrong direction. All right, there's an office over there. I don't see any... Whoa, and another camera. Missed that one. Let's see if we can find a security terminal. I think this is where we would have come out if we had used... Yep. This is where that leads just back down to Quinn. So, basically, both paths lead to the same place and really don't make much of a, of a difference. So let's see, right underneath the camera. There's an alarm panel here. Well, there's an office with a window and a person sitting inside. And, oh, there's a guard. And some laser barriers. Whoa! That was a guy inside that office. So can we hack inside here? Level one. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Somebody see us? Access grant. No. I guess it was just somebody talking to himself. Close door. Oh. I have to move away first. Okay, we got a computer. A hat and a backpack. A paper. Ah, stun guard and credit chips. A book. A pocket secretary. Need cable duct access. 5768. Hey, I just got a maintenance call to some faulty laser grids in the offices, but everything checked out on the hardware end. Ran a diagnostic on the diffraction limiters, and it looks like someone missed a decimal or two in the pulse modulation timers. Anyway, the code for the admin cable duct access. I need the code for the uh, admin cable duct access. Marino. 5768. By, by the way, Quinn's got a 2 for 1 deal going on trade ins. Got a great haul on some new stuff that just came out over the mainland, uh, over on the mainland. Hopefully the cracks are legit and I don't get my account banned 
Like last time. Fucking shoddy pirates. Well, that's the risk you take by using pirated wares. The sleepwalking world. Wake up! The Illuminati are the secret masters of the planet. Imagine an ancient secret society with a global reach and a plan of unparalleled scope for the future of humanity. Imagine a power group known only as the Illuminati, who have worked from the shadows to control the course of the world for hundreds of years. This is not fiction, this is fact. The Illuminati are forever hidden behind cat's paws and double blinds, and they seek to manipulate the globe through the exploitation of prominent organizations. Have we already seen this? It sounds like we already seen this. But then, like, all this conspiracy stuff all sounds the same in the end. Uh, despite what they say, the United Nations, the World Bank, and the European Union were all originally created as vehicle to further the ambitions of the Illuminati and all remain under its control. The Illuminati aims... aims... Illuminati is plural. They aim... otherwise singular would be Illuminatus. That's what many years of Latin in high school will do to you. Anyway, the Illuminati aims to bring about a world peace by replacing sovereign nations with an Illuminati-run one-world government. Yes, we've seen this. They want control of us all. Australian conflict set to escalate. The civil war that has raged for over two years in the Republic of Australia may be on the verge of escalating once again. On Saturday, South Australian Federation SAF troops, led by Bell Tower military contractors, clashed with the Free States of Australia, FSA, rebels outside Alice Springs, NT. Uh, I don't, don't know my Australian regions well enough to know. Northern Territories, maybe? No, probably not. Anyway. One Bell Tower soldier was killed and five others wounded in what the SAF called a draw. Obviously, every death in Australia hurts, stated SAF Department of Defense spokesman Donald Fredel. But progress has been made. Bell Tower Associates continues to live up to its reputation and in time this rebellion will be put down. Privatization versus nationalization of oil deposits in the Australian territory of Antarctica are at the center of the divide. Of course, uh, only uh, the SAF, or better, Bell Tower, representing the F SAF, have been interviewed for this piece. Biochip recall causes more than headaches. Peaceful cues have begun erupting into violent riots at limb clinics worldwide. Worry over possible lasting effects of the biochip malfunction, combined with rumors of preferential treatment being extended to VIPs. Law enforcement and military personnel have sparked the mass revolt. Well, like us, actually, we cut right through the line when we went to the limb clinic in Hengshaw. So... Somebody get the phone. What's the point of going over here if we can't go anywhere from there? Access granted. Okay. Right, Milo Binder. Confirmation of BT flight uh, 1701 leaving RBS for Brisbane, Australia. Note. It will be making stops in Manila for grenades and in Egypt for uniforms and bedsheets in order to fulfill your requisition. Sorry for the delay. Problems with our suppliers. Lieutenant M.M. M. Binder. Acquisitions and Logistics, Bell Tower Associates, RBS. P.S. And if you're serious about that pizza oven, just fill out a standard S1798. Scratch out where it says machine gun and write in pizza. I'll speak to Q and see what we can do. Arrival confirmed. Requisition 437 R2. Eggs and cotton greatly appreciated. Eggs and cotton in, in uh, quotes. So it probably wasn't eggs and cotton. Thanks. Captain W. O'Reilly. Find that S1728 uh, attached. Was it 28? 
Yeah, here it's 98, not 28. Filled out the wrong form, dude. Okay, Black Market, Lieutenant, I've completed my investigation into the situation concerning the presence of unauthorized materials at RBS, specifically Comfort Class 1 and or Personal Class Personal Class 4 in nature. There is seemingly an abundance of such materials. However, they are not originating from our officers or through offices or through normal requisition channels. That being said, I can find no evidence of a black market or other type of procurement model on the base. I can only conclude that the tr troops are returning from active duty and or leave with the materials of questions. I have approached Commander Keitner about the situation. She is less than, wor uh, she is less than worried about the men having their little comfort and she suggests better use of my our time might be spent on doing inventory. She will expect a full report next week. Sergeant Ignatius P. Fraley, Acting Quartermaster. Implementation of new mess schedule. To avoid any more incidents with crossover mess hours, it has become necessary to stagger access to the various mess halls on base. New mess schedules will be posted and sent ASAP. While inter-service and intra-service rivalries are to be expected, food fights and other will not be tolerated. The mess crew and janitorial have their hands full enough already. This being a high security base under wartime operations, base security has been authorized to lay charges in the future. By order of Lieutenant Commander Keitner, Sebastian L. Grain, Sergeant. RBS Post Office Pickup Notice. Notice to all RBS BT personnel. The shelves of Rifleman Bank Station post offices are full. It is extremely difficult for us to process new incoming packages without customers coming to the post office to pick up their packages. Our intent is to get all incoming packages to our customers as soon as we receive them. So please help us achieving this goal. Addresses are sent... No, uh, notices... Addressees are sent notices when packages are received. You have one week to claim your packages. Outstanding packages will be will then be shipped return to sender. Don't miss out on your care packages from loved ones. Isaac Papp, Captain, Postmaster. All right. So it seems like there's nothing else here. So let's check out this vent. Oh, that's the corridor that we were just in. So, does this take us? Here we go. We're in the office on the opposite side of the corridor. And we can take out this guy. And I see a friendly security terminal here, so... Very nice. Let's just drag him into a corner where he's less easy to see. Like here. There we go. Oh, that looks painful. Anyway, don't want pistol ammo. So that's where we just were, and the... Oh, beer? Yes, please. Oh, we're very drunk. So, nothing here. Data storage device. Sure, why not? Not sure why I would want it, but... Here's the guy's gun. So let's check out his computer. Robert Korn, Sitrep, Cap 
Corporal Korn. There has been a situation aboard the Heizen Zoo. An armed stowaway has been captured, no further details at this time. However, Commander Burke has opted to board the ship as we once we approach RBS. I have apprised Lieutenant Commander Keitner of the circumstances and she will be boarding as well. You will designate an escort for the commanders. The escort will stay behind on the ship under my orders and aid in transferring the prisoner once we are docked. You will arrange with special operations and detention us. Uh, oh, Silo Central for temporary access to the detention camp for the escort team. I do not want any incidents. Uh, no one is to speak to Burke unless directly addressed. No mention of detainees or otherwise. By God, I swear if anyone steps out of line, I will let Burke do what he will. Also, have Hammond send another base wide security reminder. Burke will be on a rampage because of this breach. Surely he'll start a security assessment for all RBS, so we'll have to be on our toes, Lieutenant Black. Have they not noticed so far that uh, we have escaped? So Tyler Klein, bored. What's she going to do? Keitner's got no pull here. I don't know what the brass were thinking about when they posted her here, but they weren't doing her any favors. Here's how busy I am. Okay, some ASCII art. Klein, by the way, what's the comm situation? I've been getting flack uh, that we're having problems contacting the incoming ships because of the storm. I'm assuming that's been cleared up? Hey, you lazy ass, what's up? I've got one of Burke's special goons hanging over me like some kind of vulture, so I'm pretending I'm busy. I wish Keitner would do something about them. I don't need any warm, fuzzy reminders of HS. I joined up for a nice paycheck. Not to be bullied by some cyber nerd's wet dream. Okay, so that's the pickup notice. Religious services, yeah, we over we've already seen these. Let's check out the security terminal, which is unlocked. And turn off the cameras. Very well. Now the question is, can we go out here? Oh. Come here. Oh, damn it. So. Oh. Now suddenly I've got visibility of the outside. Because earlier the guy didn't show up on my radar, that's why. I think we waited too long. Oh, and there's another guy. That guy over there is none the wiser. What a night. Oh, 110. That's the malfunctioning laser grid that we heard so much about. And that's where we want to go. Is there any way we can turn off the laser grid? Hmm. I don't see... I don't see any terminals. Are we? Yep, we've got energy again, so we can take out this guy. Uh 
Oh, beer. Why is he carrying around a beer on the job? So. All right, we're up to 185. And right. So. Go here. Go here. Well, let's try it again. It's level two. We got plenty of tries. So uh, that's better. Access granted. Okay. So what do we have here? A silencer that we don't really need, but we can sell. We can always drop it if we've got... Oh, a fridge. That we can move. A book. A frontier too far, the state of space, circa 2027. An impoverished NASA, NASA and marginalized European Space Agency mean the dream of travel to Mars and beyond goes unfulfilled. Only China's and America's militaries field regular flights, watching each other down the barrels of their particle cannons. In space, the coldest of cold wars tumbles on. Oh, rumbles on. Echoing, echoing the NATO-Soviet confrontations of the 1980s. At present, uh, the only space science of any note is taking place at Moon Base Omega, a small colony near Clavius. Clavius being where uh, the anomaly, where the monolith is found in 2001, a space odyssey if I'm not mistaken. Uh, plans to expand a facility exist, or was it where it was found or where their moon base was? I don't quite remember. Uh, plans to expand a facility exist, but it may be some time before they come to fruition. However, in near-Earth orbit, corporate interests thrive with automated orbital factories producing materials in microgravity environments among constellations of communications and spy satellites. Other plans for space commercial commercialization are in development, including an orbital resort for the mega-rich a slow and steady corporate takeover of the High Frontier looms. And here we have level four. Can we even hack level four? I do not believe so. But we have six Praxis points, so we might as well invest one. All right, wow. We can... We can go straight up the middle to the diagnostic subroutine. But... Oh, we've got 30 seconds, so that should be plenty to get us all the way through. Yep, not a problem. Nuke virus and a stopworm. Bored, hey you lazy ass, we've already seen this. Marn Goldman. Tyler Klein. Alright. You did good with a straight sub. Here's something a little tougher. Oh, there's like a code. Good luck with this one. We'll make a code breaker out of you yet. Okay. Shit. Looks like Vision... Visionaire? But where's the goddamn key? Goldie. Implementation of new mess schedule. Uh, security measures. Yeah, we've seen this. Okay, so basically all we got was this 
There's probably something in this code. Some Easter egg or something interesting, but you know. Not much of a code breaker myself, and uh, yeah, spending all that time doing that is probably fruitless, so. Well, probably look it up on the internet. I still don't know where I can turn these off, which kind of bugs me. Before we go over there, we want to explore upstairs. Did I... Since this looks like the security station, did I miss something in here? No. Hmm. Anyway. So let's go back to the other side. And check out this office over here, but there's a person inside, so we want to be careful. Nice. Uh, we want the cyber boost bar. No. Nothing to turn off uh, the lasers here either. So, computer's unlocked. Ah, uh, harvest the concerns. Tong is a pain, but he knows his place. If he steps out of line, he knows BT will shut him down. I don't think his harvesters had anything to do with the explosion. I know Wang is spouting some crap about having seen some harvesters in the dock areas before the incident. Doesn't mean anything. They're everywhere, like rats. Tong has too good a deal going with us. Uh, the few clashes we have with us boys may as well be staged. He throws us a few, we throw him a few, plus the leftovers from OR. We may, ha uh, we may be able to spin the explosion to our advantage. The fear of more terrorism will surely result in more contracts for us, not less. If you've got some boys sitting around doing nothing, you might as well send them here. I can find something for them to do. Bernie, Major Bernard Bowles. Bernie, the harvester question has reached uh, the highest levels in the company. There is some concern that repeated incidents may affect our staff, our standing and possibility, and possibly inhibit further security contracts, specifically in the in the Pacific Rim. The Hanming explosion did not go over well. Will this Tong play ball, or are we going to have to make another example of him? Can send more men if you need them. Dear sirs, despite what could be seen as negative press concerning our operations in China, namely Hangzhou City, we're still very much interested in contracting Bell Tower Associates. As previously discussed, this would include the policing of Bandar Seri Bagawan, as well as much of the countryside and our uh, maritime interests, chiefly oil platforms. We would greatly appreciate a preliminary assessment and timeline for implementation of a bell tower security force at your earliest convenience, and thus commence negotiations in earnest. Najiba Alchun, Minister of Defense, Nagara Brunei, Darussalam. Uh, Frank, get on this. I've already sent word confirming uh, that we are interested. Iron out the details and keep me in the loop. Brian Duggan contracts 
Captain Nanjin, I will require a number of contracts to be pulled and forwarded to my office. Uh, there is some question of bell tower contracted obligations with various organizations in the, in the vicinity of RBS due to the increased storm activity this season. The frequency and severity of the storm season may prove costly if we are continually obligated to provide disaster response and support. We may have to find a way of ma massaging the agreements to be more favorable. I will send a list forthwith. Also, we we'll require a report on the possible profits from salvaging in these various contracted areas, and if this may recoup some of our losses. Okay. So, here we have a vent and nothing much else. Oh, there's something on top here. Pocket secretary. Oh, terminal code for admin lasers. One of the engineers, Marino, was forced to reset the terminal for the security lasers in the administration offices. Because of that, the code has changed to 1355. Pass it along to whoever needs to know, Gabriel Hammond. So anyway, well, we can now explore that ventilation shaft there, but I think we will do so in the next part. It was a lot of reading in this part, so hopefully next time we will do more exploring. But anyway, for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment below. Subscribe to stay up to date, and I will see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.